Hi, Yarnabees. It's us. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to get on here quickly uh, just to kind of give you updates on stuff that's going on. And also, Tia is leaving today. Boo. Boo. So uh, she's going back home. She's going to see her puppy. And uh, I'm sure that Diesel is going to be so happy to see her because she's gone, been gone for almost a month. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that video will probably come. I'm sure that she'll send me the video of him just all... <laughs> If, Mom's those, home. <laughs> if I can even like capture him without losing it completely. Oh yeah, you're gonna be knocked on your ass, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll just be weird. It'll just be like him running around and me trying to like chase oh, him. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I just wanted to give her the chance to say goodbye to you guys and uh, say whatever she wants to say. Oh, well, thank you for supporting my mom. And showing so much love to myself and her and George. Um, and I'm sad to leave, obviously. <laughs> but I'll be back. Yes. Yes, because yeah. doing videos with her is so much fun. <laughs> we get into all sorts of trouble. <laughs> and the conversations that we have. Oh, yes. I'll yes. miss that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she won't be gone for long. Um, hopefully, cross our fingers, she will be getting a job. And uh, so when she goes back home, she's going to make all the phone calls that she's supposed to make. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot that she could do over the Christmas holidays anyways, because construction companies closed down for the season. So now is the time for her to actually contact these people and say, <laughs> I want a job. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so anyways, um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. And I will be back like in like a minute <laughs> and uh, show you all the rest of the stuff. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm back. Oh God, I'm just looking at myself and I'm, I'm looking like a hot mess. I tell you, starting to feel like Crystal from Bag of Day. <laughs> I'm wearing my hat. I love this hat and I just, it's actually one of her patterns and it's made from hygge yarn and I'm just loving it. So anyway, uh, Tia's gone and I've shed a tear and you know, um, it's going to be interesting to see how I get along by myself now. Yeah. But uh, one thing I am, I am getting a little more independent. Um, I started having baths again. Uh, I've been having showers with the shower chair for this whole month. And I can't believe it's been a month already. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I started having a bath. Um, I'm able to get in and out of the bathtub pretty much by myself. So that's good, but I'm still not going to have baths without someone here just because I don't trust myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then my foot is looking good. Uh, although when I stand up and I'm doing stuff, uh, my foot always swells up and goes purple. It's just the way it is. I've heard that it's normal. I actually started, um, or I joined a Facebook group called I Survived My Bunionectomy. <laughs> and I'll tell you something, there's a lot of people out there that have it way worse than me. Way worse. Pins coming out of the top of their toes and... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, no. But I will say that I can, I can sort of bend my last three toes now. Um, my second toe, the tip of it will bend like this part, but the rest of it won't. My big toe, nothing. I can't bend it at all. So I'm wondering if maybe they did put something in there, like uh, pins or something. I don't know. Screws. I don't know. 
I'll find out um, the 16th. I'm going to get an x-ray done on the 14th. And then I guess I will find out then what they've done because I have no movement in my big toe. Which is really weird. It's like, it really feels weird. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I have a few things to talk about. Ugh. And Tia went to the post office for me just before she left. I think I'm a little crooked here. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay. Uh, and I did get two pieces of Happy Mail. One of which was from my yarny sister, from another Mista, Sandy from Left is Right Crochet, which kind of confuses me because she already sent me a Christmas gift with that beautiful angel. So that's okay. I'll take everything I can get. Oh, oh, okay. Look at, oh, oh. look at this card. I've seen this card going around and it's so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. Um, oh my. Oh, <laughs> okay, that explains it. She says the card wouldn't fit in the box. <laughs> um, this big old card wouldn't fit in that, that tiny box. Uh, it might help if I put my glasses on, right? Uh, so glad to see you feeling better. Really glad that Tia is there to help you. Can't wait till April when we finally get to meet in person. Hope your Christmas is was is wonderful. All our love. Sandy, Mr. Wright, Octavia, and the gang. Whitey, Maggie, <laughs> send their love. <laughs> Aww. Um, thank you so much. And look what she gave me. Look, I I just love this. And of course it's in my red color. I'm just, oh, everybody knows that I am loving, look at the, the penguin and the tree. <laughs> I am absolutely loving these deep reds. This is the perfect deep red. It's so pretty. So you better tell me what yarn it is. <laughs> but look at the detail. I don't know if you can see. Oh, my camera's just not cooperating. Look at the detailing. It's so pretty. Oh, she does such good work. Thank you so much. I can't imagine what size hook you used for this. Like a three, <laughs> a four. Like, holy cow, that's, that's small. My hands can't do that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Mwah. Love you. Okay, the next one I got is from Melissa. Uh, uh. Uh. Melissa from Virginia. When I felt it, it was kind of crunchy and I was like, oh. Oh no, she sent me stitch markers and they got broken. And I was like, no. So I opened it up and I peeked inside and nope, it's not stitch markers. I've seen a couple of people get these cards and I was like so jealous, so jealous. Oh, and look, oh here, I'll take this out. Look at this card. It's red again but it's so sparkly. Can you see the sparkles in that? Like, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Love it. Whoop. Wishing your heartfelt joys, happy memories, and heavenly blessings for a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. Many wonderful blessings to you and crochet B and family. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Melissa and the family. Crocheting in agreement. That's her YouTube channel. I'll put that link down below. She has been sending out homemade candy. Ah, oh, I'm just like, oh, I'm, I was so jealous. 
I was so jealous and I was like, oh my gosh, I got home and candy. Oh, I am going to take a little piece, right? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, this is so good. Oh man. Oh wow. That is so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. mm. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh. Hopefully I, the dog won't eat it. I'm going to put it right beside my chair. Stay away from it. Dog's looking at it. Nope. Mm -mm. Not happening. Not happening, Captain. Okay. So thank you so much, you guys. That was just amazing. And getting a little bit dwindling in still. And it's just so nice. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's discuss the elephant in the room. Well, maybe not so much an elephant in the room. An elephant on YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. And it's just so sad. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Lori from Lori's Crochet Corner. She had like... 4,000 subscribers. Um, she was monetized. <sighs> Her YouTube channel was hacked. How does this happen? Like, why are they picking on us? It seems like between the bullies and the trolls and the hackers, we're crafters. We're crocheters, we're crafters. Excuse me. <laughs> We're crocheters and crafters. Leave us alone. We're not doing any harm to anybody. You know, like seriously. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, it's just really ticking me off. You know. Um, so anyways. If you are subscribed to Lori's Crochet Corner. Go to her channel. Unsubscribe right away because it's not even her channel anymore they put a lot of crap on the channel go to Lori's crochet corner two the number two that is her new channel okay you got to get her numbers back up so all those people that were subscribed need to go unsubscribe go to her new channel Lori's crochet corner two i'll put that link down below I'm just, I'm so disheartened about this whole thing. It really makes me wonder if I want to be monetized now because there's so much crap going on, you know, but hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody else because like, it's just, it's so sad. She worked so hard to get to where she was and to have it all pulled out from under her like that, like seriously. I have a few words about those people, but hackers and trolls are a menace. They're an absolute menace. And we need to just crack down on them, you know, because we do. Otherwise they're gonna rule us and it's like, no, that's not gonna happen. Okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> my friend, Debbie from She's in Saskatchewan. Uh, she contacted me a few days ago with a request. The request, okay. For anybody who knows me um, and Dana from Wonderless Crochet and Bill, um, uh, Madonna <clears throat> from Madonna Ballard's channel, and all this we've had this thing going on for months now about chickens I sent Dana a cookbook that was 50 shades of chicken and 50 shades of bacon um, because I just thought it was hilarious uh, so anyways this whole chicken thing's been going on and on Dana's was it Dana's live 
yeah um i went on there and they were talking about chicken diapers and all it, it was just a fiasco chicken sweaters chicken diapers and i just kept saying it's a chicken like why do you have a chicken running around in your house you know it's a chicken well <clears throat> anyway so months later i get this message from my friend Guess what she wants me to make her for her friend? A chicken egg apron. Seriously, I can't get away from this chicken stuff. I really can't. <laughs> a subscriber posted a chicken with a chicken sweater on in my Facebook group and like over the holidays, I was. she says, you know I had to. And I was like, <laughs> like seriously you know so I'm like okay fine I'll find the pattern and I will make this darn thing oh I was just like <laughs> so yeah so I will be making a chicken apron and she wants it in funky colors she likes splashes of color and stuff so okay so we will be doing that I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done if I ever get it done <laughs> okay um I watched Charlie from have a yarn with Charlie's video this morning Honey, I think the word you're looking for is gratification. Just saying. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on over to have a yarn with Charlie and watch her video. It's gratification. Yeah. Yeah. Karma. That's another one. Yeah. Uh, on a serious note. I got an email this morning from a subscriber and she put a call out to me hoping that I would help and of course I'm gonna help right uh, she said that there's a, a yarny group in Australia that is doing a charity event to help the for with the wildfires and the saving the animals and and helping all you know anybody out there that needs help um it's just horrible what's happening over there i just when i see stuff on youtube it just it oh my heart it hurts my heart so much to see what's going on the whole country is on fire um it's it's insane it's absolutely insane I just, there's been thousands and thousands of animals that have died and there's hundreds and hundreds more that are hurt and there's people that are, you know, having problems like losing, I don't know if anybody's lost their house or anything yet, but oh my God, it's just, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. So... I thought the fires in Kelowna here in BC were bad a few years back. This is way worse and I'm just going, oh my God, like how does this happen? If this ends up being human stupidity, I, I just can't even think about it. So anyway, um, I'm going to put a link down below and what these women have done is they have put a yarn pattern or a yarn pattern a amigurumi pattern package of eight patterns together for 15 dollars 15 something I, I forgot to write it down so um all the proceeds to the pattern sales is going to go to the wildfire rescue uh you know helping out with the wildfires so Go, I put it on my Facebook group as well, the Crochet A Canada Facebook group. Uh, if you're not joined in that, go check it out. Um, 
so I will put the link down below and um, please if you can if you do amigurumi uh, or if you've wanted to try amigurumi go check out this link it's got all the patterns on there so you know what you're buying before you purchase the pack and uh, it's going to a great cause it it's what can I say I can't talk about this anymore because I'll start crying. <clears throat> it's just, it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. So, yeah. So, go and check out, um, I can't remember the name of the group of the women. Mean Mothers or something. Uh, so, anyways, go check it out. Go buy the patterns. Uh, unfortunately, I don't do amigurumi. But I'm probably going to buy the, the pack just for the support. So, um, yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for your support on that. Um, <clears throat> I am almost finished my first, um, cardigan, uh, campfire cardigan. Almost. It's really heavy, really heavy. I'm going to insert a couple pictures. Um, Tia tried it on before she left. I'm not finished the collar yet, but um, it's, yeah. <sighs> Oops. Try it. Hang on. Okay. So there's the cardigan. It's got the kimono style, um, the kimono, <laughs> the kimono style sleeves. And, uh, yeah it's it's turning out really well i'm i'm really happy with the way it's turning out so now <clears throat> i just have to do about six rows of half double crochet to do the um the collar and the lapel going down and then it's done it's all finished and i just absolutely love the colors uh i might keep this one i don't know <laughs> I don't know so but I just I love it love it love it and I, what I did was I used the hygge hygge fur hygge fur not the hygge fur the hygge yarn okay and this color is sterling and then I used ooh, oops oops it's coming out of its packaging Whoop. I used the Karen Big Cake and this colorway is Cherry Capote. So <clears throat> um, I'm so happy with the way, it, the way it's turned out. It's so warm and cozy and just, yeah, so it goes like halfway down your butt so it's it keeps everything nice and warm i have the other two i'm still waiting to do but i'm i'm still waiting for my hirschner's order to come with the rest of the hygge yarn so i can finish that project um now stitch fest in april nona stitching lounge rosie she is hosting this event uh, in April. Um, I will leave her link down below as well if you are interested in going to Stitch Fest in, in uh, Niagara Falls. Today, right now, as we speak, George is going to book our hotel and our flight and everything through a travel agent. George is coming with me. Tia is not coming now, but George is coming. <sighs> Um, so yay! I'm so happy that I'm actually going to be going now. It's confirmed. It's like, yes, we're doing this. Uh, we are actually going to be there on the Thursday and leaving on the Monday. Uh, I would like to be there a day before and a day after just for travel time 
and also be there early so that I can help Rosie with anything that she needs done. I am going to be making um, the name tags for everybody, it's for all the YouTubers and, and everything that are going. Uh, I have a list of about 12 YouTubers so far that are going and hopefully uh, it, if as more come in, she will give me an updated list. I'm also doing something else that is kind of quirky but you know we'll see how it goes <laughs> uh, I have also been making for this <laughs> quirkiness I've been making a whole bunch of flowers so I've been making a whole bunch of red rose flowers uh, hopefully you can see this um, and I'm going to be putting a pin in the middle of it that is a Canadian flag pin. Uh, so I've got those coming. And I'm also going to be putting a pin backing on it, one of the long pins, so that you can pin it in. Uh, these are going to be put on something. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet uh, until I get them and make them and then I can show you the finished result. None of the YouTubers know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise for everybody but I will say that it will be a keepsake for everybody to take home with, excuse me, home with them and uh, just a little fun, funness to take home with them so that they have a little reminder of where they were in Canada Stitch Fest. And the reason why I'm putting a Canadian flag on it is because I'm hoping what we can do is if anybody else is going to be doing a Stitch Fest, if it like. Rosie was saying like it's gonna hopefully be where people will host Stitch Fest in different places. So what I'll do is I'll maybe me or whoever if they want me to do it or or not um, is make a whole bunch of different flowers for that place like in those colors or whatever and then put a pin with their flag on it so that everybody that goes to these stitch fests will have all of these different flowers with the pins in it so they know where, which stitch fest they went to. That's my thought. Whether it happens, I don't know. But that's where I'm going with this. Um, so anyways, um, that's about all I have to tell you, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so okay um so thank you so much for joining me thank you to all of my new subscribers that have joined me uh now that tia's gone and i'm pretty much self-sufficient um i'll hopefully be getting back into my room and doing regular videos and tutorials yes so yeah so Thanks for joining me, everybody. Thank you to all of my original subscribers uh, for coming back and, and supporting me. I love you guys so much. Oh, I am at 884 subscribers. When did that happen? When did that happen? I turned around and wham, there it was. And I was like, oh, I am so close to a thousand, <laughs> like mind blowing, mind blowing. I, I just, I am so grateful and so blessed. Like it just, I, it's like, oh, like I, I didn't even know. I, I wanted to do a happy dance so bad and I couldn't. And uh, I was just like, oh, I might have to do a hop thing. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> but uh, you can guarantee that when I, I'm starting to weight bear again, um, that I will do my happy dance. So I will know in the next couple of weeks uh, whether or not I can start weight bearing. Uh, I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, yes, so I am close. I'm getting so close. So anyway, okay, I love you all very much. I, I just, words can't say how much I appreciate you guys. Um, and, and thank you for joining me with every video that we do. Um, it means the world to us. It gives us the, um, the encouragement to keep going. And it makes me feel like I'm not alone. You guys are out there. You know, so that makes me feel so good. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to stop blabbering. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.